Hi, welcome to Lightworks. In this quick start video, we'll be looking how to create a project, we'll run through a basic edit workflow, and then we'll export your work at the end. We're looking at the new project browser with the updated fixed user interface in Lightworks version 14. Here, I can see and access my recently used projects, and I can also start a new project. Well, let's get going. Click Create a New Project. We'll call that Surf Competition. I'm going to set the frame rate. Hit the drop down menu. I've got 30 frame material today, so I'm just going to go straight away, choose 30 frame, hit Create. On the left hand side, this is the project contents panel. This is where we're going to manage all our media. But what we need to do first of all is get some stuff imported. Straight to the local files tab and browse using the places drop down to your media. Once you've located the media, select the shots by holding control or select all of them by clicking the square at the top of the column. Now all those shots are selected, I just need to press import. In this view, we're looking at the bin tiles. I can scrub my clips at the bottom. If I press the space bar, I can press play. And if I double click them, they'll open up into the viewer. Right, we will need to start assembling some clips together. Let's go to the edit tab. Choose a clip and double click it. This will open it into the source viewer. Now the first shot I want, if I just scrub down in the track down here, is this guy running down the beach. So what we're going to do is mark a section. I'm just going to press play and then I'm going to click the mark an in point where I want the shot to start. Play, in point, I'm going to press stop there and we've marked and parked a small part of this clip. Where you stop will become the out point. Now to send this to the timeline we use one of these two buttons here, either replace or insert. Let's have a look at replace first of all. Pressing replace will overwrite this shot to the timeline at the point where the red position indicator is located. Replace, I'm going to go and grab another clip. You can just drag them and drop them into the source viewer. Click in, press play. Now if I go back to my timeline and scrub by clicking on the timecode track, actually the next shot to start just here. So we're going to use replace again. That's going to put the shot from the red line onwards and it's going to overwrite this little section of our first clip here. Press replace and the overwrite is complete. Now back at the beginning here, I wanted to put in some titles. The titles run from the top here, mark an in, all the way just to about here where the logo comes up. This time when I send it to the timeline, I'm going to use insert. Now insert, it's like splicing in a piece of film. It will make your sequence longer and all the other segments on the timeline will shuffle along and move down in time. Insert. Little bit of black at the end here, we want to get rid of that. That's as simple as a right click, choose close gap. So I'm just going to look at fine tuning some of these cuts and we're going to do that with trimming. So this end bit here, I want to remove just this little section here. And all you need to do to trim up your edit is hover over the cut points. So I'm going to hover on the left hand side of this cut click and hold and drag left. Now we can see the end of the blue shot and the start of the orange shot beside it which isn't moving but I'm just taking some material off the end of that. Now there's a couple of other nice trims. What I want to do is keep this shot in the same place but I want to change the start and end frames. So if I right click I can access the trim menu now on the clip. I'm going to slip that and this allows me to click and drag on the clip. So if I drag left, so you're going to start just going up the wave and finish crashed in a load of foam there. All done with that, press close. Okay, well I've got a bit of music I want to put in at the bottom, so let's get that now. Just going to double click that to my source viewer. So I want my music track to start coming in about this point. So I'm going to mark an in point on my edit viewer, go all the way down to the end of the edit. We're going to turn off all our tracks apart from A3 and A4, I want the audio down here. And now I'm going to use the replace button on the source viewer and that drops that in there. And my edit's going to finish here, so let's zoom in. I'm just going to mark that last section. I want to remove all this and close the gap. This button here, delete, will do exactly that. Click delete, the gap's closed and that's all done. Well I think the audio is looking a bit loud here, so I'm going to turn that down. To access audio keyframing on the edit tab, press and hold the shift key on the keyboard. Go to the white line, click and drag down. 
and you'll see the waveforms change in proportion. I'm still holding shift down at the end of the audio, I'm going to do a fade out. Click on the top right hand corner and drag left. Similarly, we're going to fade in. Top left hand corner and drag right. That's the fades done. Let's add a dissolve here between the titles and the opening shot. Right click, set your transition length. That's going to be about 45 frames. Choose the positioning, click add a dissolve. There it is. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to crossfade the audio. Right click on the audio track cut point. Choose add a crossfade. Let's jump over and do some effects. Over to the VFX tab. By default, we now put three effects on each clip on your timeline. Those three effects are the 3D DVE, a color correction, and the titles effect. Now on this blue shot on my timeline, I just want to increase the saturation. So I'm going to slide the saturation up and increase the contrast a bit. The effect is applied and we can see that by the little purple square. We can also see that the LED is turned on on the effects entry. Let's go to the next shot. And this shot here, I want to resize it a little bit with the DVE. Now I'm just going to pick up the corners of my shot. I can drag it smaller, but I can also drag it larger. And I'm also going to click on the picture and reposition that so I get the guy in the middle a bit more. And finally, I want to put some title graphics across my whole piece. I'm going to go to the beginning, mark an in point. I'm going to go right to the final frame. Over to the effects panel, let's put the text in. I'm just going to scroll and change the font with my mouse wheel. And set my positioning to left justified. I'm going to pick that text up and just pop it in the top left corner there. And now, that green title effect you can see in the FX track runs all the way across our edit. Okay, but that's all I want to do there, so let's go back to the Edit tab. And actually, now I'm back here, I'm not too happy with that resize we did, so I'm just going to remove the effect off the clip by right-clicking and choosing Remove. That will reset the shot back to the beginning. Great, well I'm all set to export. To export your work, right-click, choose Export, and I'm going to make an MP4 file ready to upload to YouTube. Export the whole sequence and hit start. Now the export is a background task so you're free to carry on working while this is happening, saving you valuable time. So we hope you enjoy the new look Lightworks 14. Thanks for watching, see you next time.